a commercial passenger plane flying from one EU nation to another, intercepted by foreign fighter jets. Lithuania's Prime Minister did not mince her words. It is an unprecedented attack against an international community a civilian plane and its passengers have been hijacked by military force. This is the act of state terrorism directed against the security of citizens of the European Union. The EU has already slapped sanctions against Belarusian individuals and entities, including President Alexander Lukashenko, over their violent crackdown on protesters in the wake of last year's elections. Officials in France say fresh measures are being considered, including barring Belarus's state carrier from using European airports and suspending land transport links with the country. The founder of Nexta, a Polish-based TV channel where the arrested activist Roman Protasevich used to work for, says penalties should go much further. Meanwhile, Belarus's powerful ally Russia has been cautious, saying it's up to international aviation authorities to evaluate the incident. The private sector has already started taking action. Latvian carrier Air Baltic has announced it will no longer use Belarusian airspace.